G'day everyone, I'm David and this is my Tabletop Standard. Today I'm unboxing the board game Windward by Eldorado. If you want to have a look at the finished models, head to 7 minutes 16 and you'll see the, the whole lot showcased right there. So the board game came with just an instruction on how to put it together. It's basically just your Cresta, which is basically whales, and your flight stand, and you just put it together. It's probably the most simple instructions I've ever seen. Uh, the rule book's got quite a bit in it. It did take my wife and I quite a while to read through it. We've played two games of it, enjoyed it immensely. It was such a fantastic game. You just have the two punch boards that lay on top of the, the box. It has your crew that you can hire, the plus two tokens for when you get defeated to increase your battle scores, your gas and cannons, a bunch of, a bunch of things that you use for single player and co-op as well. The board game itself is absolutely beautiful. I love the planet. Uh, you've got two sides to it. It's got the the large map for, I think it's th the three to five players and the small map for the two players. Now, I have only played the two player version of it. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. Absolutely loved it. On the map there are rocks, which is debris that you can't fly through. And you got this uh, crest of spawn locations too. This here is your port where you place all your supply cards and your crew that you can hire. Also keeps track of who's winning in the game at the bottom, which you get for handing in teeth from the cresters that you hunt. I love how the back of every player board has a different picture. They've made so much nice artwork. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get the art book with it. It would have been such a beautiful art book. But in any case, I didn't get it. <laughs> so I'm just going to live with it, I guess. I also noticed that there were a few differences in the boards. I was trying to work out how much difference there was. And I worked out it's just on the uh, right hand side, those columns where you place your main pieces the purple gives an, a when you rest at sky it gives you tag notoriety the yellow player it's long boats you get more movement when you put a, a mate on that red one when you rest at port gives you the option of morale or cannons green one gives you more supply cards when you pick that and the blue one gives you two morale when you rest at port instead of one morale is super helpful you use morale to stay out at sky longer and it also gives you more gas when you harvest things the supply cards are vital <laughs> throughout the whole thing they help you defeat other players and cresters um, there are play reference cards, there are achievements, which I haven't used yet, and there are, then you got all your supply cards. The ships, they, they say they come pre-painted, basically they're a grey plastic and a red plastic, and then they coloured the gas pockets that make the ships float. They looked okay. If you're not someone who paints your minis, it would look fantastic on your table. I personally love painting minis. Uh, spaceport is just basically grey with a black wash on it and the orange painted underneath. It does contrast well. Um, I just wanted to paint my own there. so but anyway, it looks nice. I like painting my own miniatures. So 
So I have a quick peek in all these bags. In the first bag, it's got basically just some red crested teeth. It's got the long boats. Basically, they hunt the grey cresters. So you, your big ship will drop the long boats and they go around hunting the little uh, whales, really. Cresters are just whales. Uh, and this flag here goes on top of the trading post to keep track of uh, which way the wind's blowing. Uh, something I thought was interesting is they made the color of the flag the same color as the wind dice, so it ties in together. Um, I painted my flag red because that's the color of the flag on the box art. In this other bag, it's got the gray crested teeth, a few red cresters, which are much tougher to kill than the gray ones, and also has the White Crester. The White Crester is the solo and co-op big boss, basically. Uh, I've not read the rules for it. I'm looking forward to fighting it, though. This second bag has the, the tracker tokens. So each ship has three of its own color. These are the flight stands that you put all of your large ships, red cresters and white cresters on. And in this one, we've got the mostly just the gray cresters and a few red cresters. So this is the last one we haven't seen. These are the ones that the long boats fight. And these are just your small flight stands. And that's it. Once again, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like my video, please hit that subscribe button. Have a look at some of my other videos that are on the screen now and give it a thumbs up.